Hi, Sagittarius, love and light. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, listen. Your person loves attention, man. Your person loves attention, okay? Whoever you're, or you, this is you, okay? Or this is your person. Someone loves attention. They do things, they do anything for clout, basically, okay? There's a pick me energy. Now, if this is not your person, it's a third party. Somehow, some way involved with your person or with you. This whoever this person is who loves attention, this person may get a lot of attention because they're either a attractive or they're seen in the public eye, or they're well known in some capacity in some some way, shape, or form. Right? They might have like a successful business or a successful platform, or they're recognized somehow, some way. Okay, with this star energy here. Then we have low key in reverse, okay? <laughs> low key is energy is about just somebody who's real chill, who doesn't need a lot of attention. They don't require a lot. Like, you know, I feel like somebody is the opposite of a loner here. Um, someone needs validation, it seems like. They're a pick me, okay? Again, this could be a person or a third party, or this could be you. I mean, like I said, this is just any anybody's willing to do anything, I think, to either A, get whatever it is that they want here out of a situation or out of a person. Somebody will be manipulative, if that means being emotionally manipulative or sexually manipulative, whatever, or mentally, I don't know. It's one of those, right? Um, this is somebody who will probably throw you under the bus just to save their own ass. Let's just be quite honest or they'll do anything to achieve whatever goal it is that they want to. Like I said, this person's shady. First energy out. You know, this person is just very dishonest and you question this person's behavior quite a bit. You know, this person is very suspicious. I don't know. You know, we have disappointment energy in reverse. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius here. You don't have to be, but I really feel like this is manipulative energy. Somebody who's very, very dishonest. Okay. Um, you know, at this point, I feel like, you know, this person was a trickster. Um, this person in the past caused you some form of like disappointment, right? But you're not with this disappointment being on the top of the deck in reverse, you're not really concerned about it anymore. And I feel like you guys know what it is. All right. So, so let's keep going and see what else comes out. All right. Let's pull from our truth. The truth is this. And see what else it is here, spirit guys. What else do we need to know here? What else is this person hiding from the collective? Show me what else this person is hiding from the collective, please. Or here we go with the games. <laughs> it's like the Olympics around here lately. I'm telling you, these karmics are like... Oof. What's, what is this person hiding from the collective? A pregnancy for some of y'all? Okay, somebody here could be lying about them being pregnant with pregnancy in reverse. Somebody could be dishon is being dishonest when it comes to a child here for some of you all or who the child belongs to. Okay. What is this person keeping? They could be using children as a way to get their way here. Okay. Because this is some shady energy here. Okay. Side piece. In reverse. So this could just definitely be somebody who they're with. This could have been somebody who they were just casually seeing for some of you all. What is this person hiding? So this person's hiding that they have a child with somebody else or the person here. Somebody's lying about who the, the child's mother is or who the child's father is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that energy is. Yeah, look at this. Wasting time. You don't, you know what? I feel like this person really is like non-committal. You know, so like for some of you all, if this person is married, this person is literally like wasting somebody's time here <laughs> maybe they wasted yours um or they're definitely wasting i don't know they're wasting their life away or their time away with whoever this person is that's lying to them and who's shady that's for sure what are they hiding this person oh let's see yeah slow down rushing things will ruin the connection so it's like spirit could be saying like you to me the message i'm getting is like somebody's got all the time in the world Hmm. So what this person could have been hiding from you or is hiding from this person is that 
they I feel like this person like if you want a commitment this person may have told you whatever it was you want to hear to buy some time but this person was in actuality you may have realized like this person was moving at a snail's pace so it's giving like Knight of Pentacles energy Page of Pentacles energy you know the person who is reliable but very slow to do something they'll say something and when maybe every now and then this person showed up and gave you hope and did something that made you feel like they were reliable or that kept you around What's the hidden truth here? Just friends. The hidden truth is this person knows they don't have commitment for you. They know they, they don't have plans to do anything else. Yeah, bottom of the deck is truth seeking. You will discover the truth about the situation soon. So you've either already realized this or you will be realizing this very soon. The truth is going to come out about that very soon. I feel like it's a little too late. Okay. I just heard, you know, it's just a little too late. So let's see what else here for this person. Self-pleasure. This person can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. They go through their, their pictures and their phone. Okay. This person could be acting like they don't miss you, but they do. Mm. 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 Show me what else here. Yeah, love on the brain. I'm telling you, it says dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, nostalgic here, energy. Six of Cups energy. Think about the past. Can't forget you. This person has pictures of you or video of you that are hidden in their phone or like that they look at. They they keep, For some of y'all, you don't know this person kept pictures or video of you, gossip. The people are talking about, I feel like, either this person is talking to their friends and family members about you or this person, because it's been so hard for them to get over you, they could be reminiscing to their friends about you or their friends are gossiping about this is giving me like the friends are gossiping about how much this person they're noticing how much this person is thinking about you or talks about you okay let's switch decks let's see what else here for the collective and the person yeah i told you they're in their head quite a bit they're in their head quite a bit they can't stop thinking about you. They may have, for some of you all, you might have blocked this person on social media, on Instagram, maybe TikTok, or, you know, this person is watching you from somewhere and talking about something that they see. They may have even created a fake profile. With the, they're definitely watching you on the internet here, okay? Somebody may see something on their social media profile and they may, like, try and comment or say something smart or, or um be in your DM or something and say something smart to you or just say something to throw you off if they've created a profile, okay? What else here? Unity. So this person wants to come into some form of reunion. They want to reunite with you. They want to bring balance back into the situation here. Yeah, pretending and fake, living beyond their means. If this person is acting like they miss you, they don't miss you, that's a lie. They do miss you. This person could also be, like I said, this person is somebody who does anything for clout here. So it wouldn't surprise me if this is somebody here who's living beyond their means, having money issues or financial issues, or they're dependent on somebody for something, or they use other people for money, or they're using somebody for money. I can't stand it when my obsession to uh, overthink becomes an issue. This person is definitely overthinking in this situation. This person is trapped in their head about you. Um, you definitely have... That's, that's because you've changed this person's life here. And now they can't forget about you. For some of you all, this person is divorced. They may come towards you and say they're getting a divorce. I just saw the divorce card pop out. <clears throat> when this person spends time alone in solitude, they think about you quite a bit. Okay, At, yeah, I told you acting cold. Now, this totally can be you. You could be acting ice cold, like you don't really care. You could have already set boundaries with this person. But I feel like this person is just has this really like 
acted very cold when it comes to them to try not to display how they truly feel you know uh, but you know it's they're not a, a good at hiding it as they think they are because people are in the background talking about how this person is faking it I'm telling you um, the star card is peeking its head out could be dealing with an Aquarius you don't have to be we did see that Gemini Libra Aquarius energy there huh? <laughs> oh boy all right Show me this um, the divine masculine's energy here. No, show me this person's energy because I don't know who this is yet. Show me this person's energy when it comes to the collective. Eight of Wands. This person wants to communicate and come towards you very quickly. For some of y'all, somebody said something too fast, too quick. Somebody uh, speaks before they can think. They have like a hot temper. Um, this is definitely giving energy of somebody who speaks before they think. Like they just say things and then maybe later they say, oh, I'm so sorry. But this is, could also be this person like rushing towards you to communicate with you. Like I said, for some of y'all, <laughs> this is them wanting to tell you. Uh, I mean, hopefully they want to tell you about this side piece or whoever it is that they got pregnant or this person who's lying. I don't know. I uh, mm. Mm -hmm. They miss you though. Let's see what else. Show me this person's energy when it comes to the collective, please. Yeah, they want to come towards you and make a love offer. Nine of Cups. Please come talk to me, please. When you talk to me, I miss you. I'm sorry. I've been obsessively thinking about you. They may not, I mean, you know, they're going to come towards you and give you a little bit of love. This is only the Knight of Cups. This person might not be too, I don't know. This person, the Knight of Cups is like the Casanova. So this person might be very smooth with their words. Could be. They might want to come towards you and speak a real good game here with the Six of Swords. They may want to come towards you and call a truce have some sort of peace again there's a star card hey um, i have wish and hope and fulfillment can we heal this i still hope this can work out are you still single <laughs> or hey i just got a divorce i'm single do you want to work this out it's really my wish fulfillment to be single so i can come towards you mm -hmm. Show me more of this person's energy when it comes to the collective, please. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, please. I want to be with you. I want to give you this commitment. So in the past, they couldn't give you the commitment. That's the hidden truth. Or maybe when this person comes towards you, they're like, let's call it truth. I'm ready to settle down. But in actuality, spirit could be warning you to pay attention, trust your discernment, use your wisdom, trust your intuition, and pay attention because this person might be talking a good game saying okay I'm, i want to call a truce and i want this commitment i want to put it in the work i want to plant a seed towards something long term but in actuality collective this person is going to take their time and and slow down and, and and take things at a snail's pace and maybe move very slowly uh, for some of y'all this person may still want to be with you and somebody else that they have a child from a baby's mother or a baby's father or they may come towards you and tell you that this is happening. So, like, this is what's been going on with them here. The world card. Mm. So, they may have completed some form of a cycle. Show me this person's energy when it comes to the collective, please. Yeah. Ace of Cups. So, now we have the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Huh. Look at that. Like, hello, they want to come towards you. I don't know if they change. We'll see. Bottom of the deck. I'm sorry, collective. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. All right. Show me this person's energy when it comes to the, my collective. Oh, my goodness. This is so funny. The high priestess. The secret. This is this person either trusting their intuition here about you and they want to bring balance back into it or somebody karma spirit is pushing this person to come towards you and make something right or this person just really did get a divorce mm, maybe we'll see we'll see they could be a libra they could be a libra like i said an air sign a gemini or an aquarius too but really everybody's out here air fire water earth everybody's here right now show me this high priestess they could be hiding something too i don't know 
some of this person's energy. They're re so they secretly are just hiding that they regret uh, that maybe that they hid secrets from you. Ten of Pentacles. Their family could have gotten away. They may have had a family and been married, like I said. Mm -mm. Show me this person's energy when it comes to my collective. Nine of Swords. I'm sorry, Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo. This is uh, Sagittarius. Um, hmm. This person maybe regrets. They're hiding the fact that they regret not fighting for this connection or fighting for you here. Yeah, they made a bad judgment call, maybe. The judgment, Scorpio energy. Maybe they're making this decision to come back and fight for, for this connection. Especially with this Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups being here with this Nine of Wands. Um, hmm. Show me this person's energy when it comes to the collective. The Emperor, okay. So again, this person... Um, is your divine masculine, I feel like, okay? Or they may want to just come towards you, divine masculine, and work this out, okay? Flip the switch the roles, depending on where you are. If you know your divine masculine and, um, you know, and you know you want to work on something here, or, you know, you don't got to work on shit because you're in this upright energy, the emperor energy. You're a boss. Your energy is great. This person is going to have to come towards you correct because you've got your head turned away from that. No more work. No more regret. If you're the divine masculine, you're not working hard for a connection. You feel like it should come easy. No struggle here. You turned away from all of the the hard work here. You're tired of being in regret. You're tired of dealing with people who have secrets. Okay. If you if you resonate as the divine masculine, but if you're the divine feminine, that's how this masculine feels. That's what they're thinking about right now, and but they're hiding it. Show me this divine masculine energy. Queen of Pentacles. They're thinking about this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who they can have all this Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups with. I mean, uh, let's keep it real. Show us the Emperor's energy when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles. They're trying to manifest you, Gemini energy. Mm -hmm. Trying to manifest this new beginning of love and a new commitment with you. Trying to call this truce bottom of the deck again. Do you know, maybe this person really, really deep down is thinking about it. They are, okay. I'm not sure if they've changed whole completely yet, but they are trying to manifest you. This tower moment. This person is having a shocking realization that they got some work they need to do, okay. They know they've lied, cheated, manipulated, you know, just, just acted a damn fool is what it seems like to me. So somebody showed their ass and now they're like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's just kind of where they are with this, unfortunately. I mean, but you know, but fortunately for you, you, I feel like you're good. You know, you really aren't showing up here too much in this reading. Okay. I mean, you're showing up as someone who's highly valued, highly sought after, someone very nurturing, somebody very loyal, who knows their worth. Okay, so you're not going to play with anybody. You're definitely not going to play with this divine masculine. You've got your eyes closed and you're focused on your money or your goals or your stability. You're not paying attention to that person. You're smelling yourself. You're feeling good. <laughs> it just looks like she's smelling something. I don't know. It's the divine masculine is staring right at this queen of pentacles with his eyes wide open. This man knows what he wants. This woman knows what she wants. Male or female, okay, for the divine masculine. Show me what this person wants to say to the divine masculine here. True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. All right, let's see. <clears throat> True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. I'm scared. I get I get too nervous. That's why this person was moving at a snail's pace. Like I was saying earlier, that's why they were making all these excuses. They were saying one thing, but moving extremely slow or creating 
obstacles and boundaries where there didn't need to be any, any obstacles or boundaries. For some of y'all, a kid or a baby mother or a baby father or pregnancy or children or a family or something is definitely um, a blockage or an obstacle here. It says, I hope you don't find out that I've been watching your social media. Well, you already found out because I just told y'all. <laughs> okay, the collective knows if you're cross-watching. Okay, why do I keep messing things up? Okay, this person keeps messing stuff up because they definitely like i said are in this energy of thinking about why they're really really thinking about why they mess stuff up with you judgment they're going through judgment okay uh, they could be either getting their karma right now and spirit is saying hey they're being called to work on themselves all right i'm just saying and get out of this energy of the seven of swords <clears throat> that's just what it is okay we have sometimes i stare at my phone and become stuck this person overthinks so much, you know, they do stare at their phone because either A, they're on your social media just scrolling through, even reading comments or who liked your pictures and looking at other people's profiles or they're looking at these pictures or photos or text messages or conversations that the two of you have shared together or that they, whatever it is that they're looking at, like this person, I feel like they're doing it alone, you know, um, it says, I tried to replace you, then I realized that you are irreplaceable and now you are gone. So for some of you guys, not for everybody here, this person tried to replace you with a side piece they may have had or somebody they could have involved, um, a third party and then they could have gotten this person pregnant. For some of you all, that could be their kid. For some of you all, it's not their kid, right? I don't know. Or maybe this person feels like it's not their child. That's not for everyone. It says, I'm really sorry about everything. That was that page of cups, Knight of Cups energy. They are. You are the one that I've been looking for my whole life. Again. I mean, what else is there to say? <laughs> So there you have it. Get ready for that. Um, I love you guys.